Today we are gonna edit this overexposed image and try to bring back details with some color pop using Snapseed and Lightroom free apps. So here I imported the image to Snapseed. The first thing you notice is how bright the image is. So in the tune image menu, I'm gonna reduce the brightness. Also the highlights which affect the brighter parts. And the shadows which affects the darker areas. Now with the RGB curves, I will further darken the shadows by dragging the lower part towards right. If you want to know how the curves tool works, I will leave the link of the video on mastering the curves. Next I am gonna use one of my favorite filters here to give the motorcycle more limelight. Applying the vintage filter with default values and the preset 12. Then with masking, tap the stacks icon on the top right, view edits, vintage filter and brush. Here with the effect enabled and with the brush value at 0, I will remove the mask on the bike which gives the bike some pop. To sharpen the motorcycle, increase the structure in the details menu. And apply it only on the bike with masking. Now with the selective filters, I will try to remove the colored smoke a bit just around the motorcycle. Now for some hot contrast using curves. As you can see with the RGB curves when I apply a hard S curve, it also adds a lot of saturation. To avoid this, I am gonna use the luminance curve to make the same adjustments but this affects only the luminance values without adding any saturation. Now exporting to the Lightroom app for some edits which should further pop the image. Here in the Lightroom app, I will go directly to the HSL sliders that is to the color menu mix for some individual color tuning. Here first I will reduce the saturation of the blues, also move the hues towards aqua. Some greens here in the image, so we'll try to pop them more by moving the hues towards aqua and also increasing the saturation. Reducing the color of the oranges here. To 
pop the reds on the bike, I'm gonna increase the saturation and luminance to make it pop. Some magenta in the smoke will reduce the saturation here. Coming back to the color menu, I will reduce the temperature to make the image cooler a bit. Also adding vibrance for some color pop. Now in the details menu, I will selectively sharpen the image. Using the two finger swipe, I will move the slider towards right till I get a close selection of the bike without much of the other parts of the image. Here you can see the white mask on which the sharpening effect will be applied. Now increasing the sharpening. Coming to the light menu here, a small info regarding the sliders. The highlights and the shadow sliders affect the brighter and the darker parts, but the whites and the black slider affect the brightest and the darkest parts respectively. So here I will move the white slider towards right to make the brightest parts more bright. Same way moving the blacks. This gives the image more contrasty look and also gives the image more punch. So here is the final look. Thanks for watching.